What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight T stand up! I kinda heard saying that. If you guys cannot see or tell by my facial, bruh, like literally, bruh, the kid, I don't know what the fuck I came up with, but like literally the nigga is sick right now, bruh. Like I'm trying to get over that shit, bruh. Popping whatever I fucking can, my nigga, to fucking clear this code up, bruh. But you already know, but the grind does not stop. Whatsoever, bro. It does not matter the situation because I'll be making motherfucking excuses. But, bro, I thought this would be a funny ass interaction because I had a couple people actually DM this shit. If you guys be on Instagram, bro, they breed the finest chicks. If they are not catfish, they breed the finest chicks, bro. And you know, I don't ever judge anybody or knock anybody for the hustle. There's actually some people out there that actually get paid for that shit, bro, which is actually pretty dope. But here, bro, this is something sus, 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 written all over, bro. We're gonna be able to Instagram model. I have never uh, heard about before that is gonna be doing something very disgusting that she's gonna be actually exposed about now a lot of people are actually saying that it was something with a 13 year old but I just honestly want to check this out and know this is from Philip DeFranco by the way if you guys don't know what Philip DeFranco is the same thing with uh, drama alert and scarce do I do watch all the new channels I told you that before and this is the first time we're actually watching DeFranco on this channel so how we rocking up, you beautiful bastards. bastards. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. And uh, before we jump into it, you may notice we have two special guests here today. Because I'm giving the team a bunch of holiday time off. Last night was our company Christmas party, and I may or may not be hung over. But we're going to get through my poor decision making together. Let's do this. And the first thing I want to talk about today is a story around Instagram models. When it comes to Instagram models, especially these smaller, don't have a very large following yet Instagram models, yeah. people often wonder, like, how, how are they in this amazing situation? And how's Villa's private jet? Jets, yachts. It's very easy to assume, well, they're probably putting part of a very rich person into their mouths and or other stuff. And maybe they're doing Yo. it just for a really cool trip or they're doing it for <laughs> promotion because they want to get bigger on Instagram or True. they're they're getting paid. I and mean, if you just hey. take a peek at people like Dan Bilzerian's Instagram account, like that guy has just launched women's careers because they were just there. Like the world wow, might not know up. about Lindsay Pellis if it wasn't for Dan. Well, separately from that, I learned today that there is a site called Tag the Sponsor that is dedicated to exposing Instagram models and the nasty stuff they will do. Recently, they had one of the biggest stories to blow up, and that was about model Elena Gonzalez. This leaked DM with the sponsor is acting like a multi-millionaire in Shoot. Dubai. He's asking, you know, how, how much can I purchase? I want you to have sex with me. I want you to have a threesome. I want you to have a threesome with my 13-year-old virgin brother. Oh, get... shit! Now, big question of the day. Would you be willing for, I don't know what the offer was, but let's just say there was a way for them to give this Instagram model like a, a paid living, whatever. She gets like a million followers, some type of shit. But she had to do something with a 13-year-old, bro. Is that what I'm fucking hearing right now, my nigga? Yes. It's pretty raunchy, but then he convinces her to make a video saying like what you are willing to do, saying that I just, I need this video to show that there is consent. Hi, my name is Aliana Lozada Gonzalez. They leaked and, um, the- 20 years. Old, 26 years old. I'm willing to come to Dubai to Sultan Ali. We are having unprotected sex, and I will let Mr. Ali lick the humus of my feet. I will also um, fuck uh, his virgin brother, who is 13 years old. Oh my and gosh! I will let him uh, lick my pussy and. Fuck me, Anna. So two things there. From now on, I am going to call it Anna. And two, not the best look in the world <laughs> to be videotaped saying gonna... that you would have sex with a 13-year-old. I don't even, I wouldn't even I say that jokingly just out of fear it, but... that someone would take that out of context, that joke, and put it somewhere else. And also, this video isn't shocking to me. Obviously, this happens. The most shocking thing about this story is that he was even able to find this girl. She only has like 1,500 followers. How did, how? But I mention all of this because now there is a debate online. Is it wrong that this video was released? That's the question. People are saying that this video is essentially slut shaming. At the same time, people Ooh. are saying, well, it's not slut shaming, it's the exposing of someone who's willing to commit a crime. This exposes prostitution and a deal being made to have sex with a minor. I've seen some of these people saying that this is the same as to catch a predator. And so I pass that question off to you. Do you think that it is wrong or it's right that this video was released? Uh, here are my thoughts right now, bro. Like, whoever motherfucking, like, finessed her to say that shit and then released it, bro, like, you're going straight to hell. I'm fucking sorry, my nigga. But, you know, all jokes aside, bro, like, in my opinion, man, it was just wrong, just wrong wrong on top of a man there's no type of right coming from any type of situation i don't care 
what the uh, deal and circumstances was. But you're talking about a 13 year old bro being involved in a situation like this, man. So to actually cap it off, because he's actually not going to talk about anything else pertaining to the Instagram model. So I just actually just was interested in just seeing what the hell that was about. But yeah, bro, like no matter what the circumstances are, bro, like you should not sell your soul for something you really want to do, bro. If it's something you're passionate about, bro, you're going to get it regardless, no matter how hard you fucking work, bro. You're just going to get that shit, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I bro. heard that nigga sold his soul for a little fan. Man, I heard these hoes fucking bust your chain. Flop, 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 flop. Peep, peep. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs>